Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we are checking out yet another Dinomania figure from my recent score of many Dinomania figures. There, I had uh, unboxed quite a few of them, so you probably have a pretty good idea of some of the figures that are coming here in reviews, and this one is their smaller Indominus Rex, and it is a really cool version of an Indominus, although you can see that they've kind of taken their own liberties as far as the paint scheme goes, because it's not exactly the type of paint scheme that you saw on the Indominus in the film. It's more of like a bluish gray, and then there's like a dark black that runs over certain areas, which I think actually looks really cool and could have been a very cool appearance for the animal in the film. So I think Dinomania has done a pretty cool job on the overall appearance to the figure, but the sculpt itself definitely has a really cool Indominus type of a look, especially being down on all fours, which I think is really cool as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get a closer look at this right now. So starting up here at the head sculpt, you can see that the head sculpt is pretty much jam-packed as far as detailing goes. There is a lot to be found here as far as the actual sculpt work of the figure goes. You can see some really nice scales here on the lower jaw, but you can also see some beautiful scaling up here on the upper jaw as well. Very nice detailing. You've got kind of like some ridges that run along here, and then we have those sort of trademark Indominus style crests. And uh, in general, I think the head sculpt looks really, really cool as far as the detailing goes. The eyes are that sort of plastic glass eye type of a look, and they are just nothing but black, which helps to, again, give the entire animal a very creepy vibe. And I think that the way that they've painted this, uh, again, matches perfectly with the eyes and overall is a very creepy look for this animal, or I should say this hybrid. But you can see the skin flap here of the inside of the mouth as it is kind of shining through right here a little bit, but they did make the entire skin flap here sort of just the same coloration as you see elsewhere on the Indominus. I more like it when it's kind of like the inside of the mouth color, but I actually don't think it looks bad on the figure. It just it would have looked a little better if it would have been the inside of the mouth coloration. And the inside of the mouth is like a purplish color, and you can kind of see it shining a little bit there. It looks a little glossy in the light. The teeth are painted with like an off-white for the most part, and uh, you can definitely see that they're a little sloppy as far as the paintwork goes, but uh, they could be worse, I guess. The upper jaw looks okay, except the lower jaw. I think the teeth are just maybe a little bit too small, and uh, they're just a little sloppy as far as the paintwork goes, but it still looks pretty cool, and with the Indominus having its mouth so wide open, it has a very dynamic appearance to the sculpt overall. As we start to move back here into the neck, you can see lots of kind of ridges popping up here, like we do see on the Indominus in the film. You can also see some nice creasing going on in the skin. Lots of beautiful creasing here on the underside and the throat area, and you can see like a nice little area of brown that they've included here just to give it some very cool color variation. And again, some really nice sculpt work in that area as well. As we move back here into the body, you can see that for the most part, the skin texture is fairly fine looking, but then you get some really cool trademark Indominus style scales here and there. You also have lots of osteoderms and stuff up here on the back of the Indominus. And then as we move down here into the front arm, you can see some really nice muscle tone as we run down the length of the arm, make out the elbow here. The Indominus hands look very creepy. Very, very creepy, I will say that. That's one thing I feel like is pretty awesome about the Indominus is just the way it can use its arms and hands so easily, unlike a lot of other larger theropods, of course, not being a real dinosaur. But I still think it was a really cool aspect of the Indominus, and it's portrayed quite nicely in the sculpt of this figure here. As we move back into the body again, you can see those really nice scales that I was just talking about. You can also see sort of a little bit of skin folding and stuff going on. Some more nice sculpt work and detailing here on the underside. Nice creases in the skin all over the place, cracks and crevices. You can make out the hip bone a little bit up here. And some very nice muscle tone once again in the thigh here on the rear leg. And you can also see sort of like some osteoderms and stuff poking up here and there. You do get a pretty good idea of like the bone structure of the leg and everything. Nice muscle tone here a little bit in the calf. It's not super visible, but it's definitely there. As we move down into the foot sculpt, the foot sculpt looks pretty nice. It's more of like a dark black than anywhere else. It seems like it kind of tapers off to a darker black down here. Pretty much actually what you see up here on the back, but it's very dark down here on the feet. So it's a little hard to actually pick up on the detailing of the feet, but I think they look quite nice. It doesn't appear as though they've painted the nails any other color other than the majority of the foot there with that kind of blackish coloration, but I still think it looks pretty fun. 
And I feel like uh, a lot of the figures don't really seem to have nail paint on the Dinomania figures. For the most part, they seem to kind of just paint over the feet, and that's sort of the color that they leave them, although some seem to have had some nail paint, but I think it works pretty well for them. It's just kind of their style. And then as we come back up here into the tail, again, some very nice detailing as we run out the length of the tail, and you can see it all brought out beautifully with that nice dark wash, which is really cool to see. And one interesting aspect about this version of the Indominus as far as like a Dinomania figure goes is that it's actually posed in one specific position, which is different than a lot of the other ones. A lot of them kind of come in like a neutral position with articulation. You don't have that going on with this figure. It's just kind of posed for you, so it's definitely a little bit different than most Dinomania figures. You can again see the really cool detailing here over on this side of the head of the Indominus. Really nice looking for sure as far as the skin texture goes for this style of a figure. It's pretty impressively well done because most times when you get these kind of softer squishy figures like this, they don't look like this. They look very goofy and not very detailed. So when it comes to this style of a figure, the Dinomania figures I feel like are probably the most highly detailed of this type of figure. So that's really cool. Definitely a very nice thing to be proud of on their part. And you can again see the teeth are painted with sort of like that off-white over here. You can again see the skin flap, the very cool plastic glass eye type of a look right there. And as we move down the neck, the detailing for the most part looks the same on this side as far as this area goes as to what we had pretty much seen on the other side. There's no real difference or anything. But once we get down here, we can now see that this arm is down planted on the ground as the Indominus is kind of walking along. So uh, you can definitely see some difference there as opposed to that previous arm. This one now isn't up in the air kind of grabbing at something. This one's down planted holding the dinosaur up. You can see the seam here where the arm connects, but that's something that is very common with this type of a figure. And this is actually one of the smallest Dinomania figures. I think it is the smallest actually Dinomania figure I've ever seen. So that is one really cool aspect to the figure because in my hands you can see it's still extremely large, but as far as Dinomania goes, that's pretty darn small. But again, this style of figure usually does have the seams quite visible, although they've done a really good job of hiding it back here in the leg area, that's for sure. But you can again see that the difference between this side and the opposing side now, this leg is stepping forward more so than the further leg. And you can kind of see like the skin bunching up a little bit there as the leg is pushing into the body. So there's some nice attention to detail paid by Dinomania. And then we lead out the length of the tail and the tail looks really cool. Over here on this side as well, you can see a pretty nice curve to the tail right there. And uh, the underside also sports some fun sculpt work. Definitely a really cool detailed Indominus. Very different than most as most people when they create an Indominus usually try to keep it kind of the theme of the Indominus and give it the movie type of a look. Whereas Dinomania has done a pretty decent sculpt but then painted it with like their own vision. And I do quite like the way they've done this. A very cool looking Indominus Rex figure. As far as the size goes from the head to the tail, you were looking at about 17 inches or about 43 centimeters in length. So again, 17 inches is definitely pretty big for a dinosaur figure. And then to the top of the head, you are looking at about six and three quarter inches or about seven and a half centimeters. Maybe actually around the seven centimeter range. It's a little bit tough to tell, but still quite large. I will definitely say that. Definitely a pretty sizable figure, even being one of the smallest Dinomania figures that there is. So for a size comparison, there is Mr. Papo T-Rex, the Attack Pack, Colovasaurus, and Robert Muldoon next to our very cool Dinomania Indominus Rex figure. And if you happen to have any of these figures, you should have a pretty good idea of the size of the figure. Again, still being quite large and quite easily dwarfing all of these figures here. Well, not so much dwarfing the Papo T-Rex, but it's definitely a good bit larger. But you should absolutely be able to tell that next to these figures, it still is a pretty sizable dinosaur figure, just not as big as most Dinomania figures. So this Dinomania Indominus Rex is definitely a very fun figure. Is it the best Indominus Rex that you're going to find on the market? No, definitely not. But is it a really cool kind of interpretation of an Indominus? Definitely. I love the fact that they didn't go with that traditional Indominus type of a coloring and they kind of gave it their own little flair, their own touch with the way that they've painted it. 
It's something so different and so unique as most companies would probably have gone the easy route and just kind of cashed in on the popularity of the Jurassic World franchise, whereas with Dino Mania, they kind of went their own route, sort of giving it their own look with a very cool black and light gray, like light blue sort of a coloration. It's very interesting looking, I will say that. And I actually quite like the color scheme overall. I think it's a very cool look for this type of a dinosaur. And as I said earlier, something that could have been really cool if it was utilized in the film to give it sort of this blackish type of a look with like a light gray or a light bluish type of a color kind of creeping through in certain areas. I think the paint applied to the figure is pretty nice looking for the most part. I feel like some more paint on the nails could have been a little bit of a better touch to the figure as opposed to just kind of giving it the same coloration as the rest of the body, but it still looks pretty cool and it seems like that's kind of like the Dinomania style is just to sort of paint over the nails without giving them any type of other type of a paint, although the recent Carnotaurus sort of looked like he had paint on his nails. But regardless, I still think that the way they painted it looks really cool. And for the most part, is really nicely done as far as, like, there's no real sloppiness to the paint or anything, except for in the teeth. The teeth are a little bit sloppy, but I don't think it's anything to really complain too much about, as they do look decent at the same time. The pose overall looks really cool on the figure, and definitely very Indominus-like. I really, really do like the pose Overall, definitely a really nice look for an Indominus with kind of walking along on all fours, which is something we did see portrayed in the Jurassic World films. And the detailing of the figure itself for this style of figure is really beautifully done. Again, with most figures like this where they have that kind of soft, squishy look, you get fun dinosaur figures, but you don't get too much detail or anything on them, and you don't get really cool poses or anything like you see here on this one. So... This one is definitely a really nice addition to the Dinomania line as far as that goes, but just in general to the dinosaur figure community, the collecting community, it's a really cool line to have introduced and sort of have a little bit more of a detailed look to most dinosaur figures when it comes to this style of figure. And I also love, of course, the fact that we have that kind of glass eye effect up there on the head, giving the dinosaur figure an overall very creepy appearance, but definitely a really nice look as well, a bit of a more realistic appearance. So if you would like to pick this very cool Indominus Rex from Dinomania up, I will include a link in the description to where you can do just that. So make sure you head down to the description, head to the Dinomania website, and buy this very cool Indominus, and make sure you also like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.